Welcome back to our nine-day cultural wonders of Japan voyage aboard Scenic Eclipse. What an amazing journey it's been, with each port delivering the very best of this country's sights and delights. Today, it's Sakuminato, a tiny fishing village with some lovely surprises for visitors. The story of a man called Adashi Zenko is a great example of the entrepreneurial spirit that helped rebuild Japan after the war. This is the rural area where he grew up and at the age of 14 he decided to leave to go to the bright lights of Osaka where he made an absolute fortune in both real estate and textiles and he spent that money on his real passion, Japanese art. And at the peak of his powers he had this idea. He'd like to come back to his hometown and build a museum that would create employment and also explain to people Japanese art via building a real-life Japanese garden before you entered the gallery. That idea has been a triumph. The garden cannot be entered. It must be viewed from the museum building itself. And therein lies the magic. This is such a brilliant way to understand Japanese art. I mean, if you came here and went straight to the gallery, you probably wouldn't understand what all the images meant. But Zenko-san, the owner, he had this idea, if I can show you the living garden first, you'll have a better understanding before you go into the gallery. I'm asking you to be my art teacher mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Could you please explain yes. what I'm looking at? OK. The rock in front of you represents steep mountains. Okay. The white gravel, yes. that is expressing the flow of water. Gravel is water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And the round plant yep. is an island floating okay. on the sea. As well as the live landscape art, the Adashi Museum houses a collection of almost 1,320th century paintings and artworks. Garden lovers get excited! This area is the biggest producer of peony flowers in the country. Now, the Japanese believe that peonies are the king of all flowers because they're so big, dating back to ancient Zen Buddhists who said that showing you a peony, because it only lasts for a few days, it's an example that nothing in life lasts. Treasure every moment. And yes, I am obsessed. Yushien, a breathtakingly beautiful private garden set over four hectares. If you need a little luck in your life, you need to bring some peonies into your living room. The colours also symbolise things. Yellow, friendship. White, I'm thinking of you. Red, vitality. And pink is all-round beauty. So peonies symbolise love, abundance, prosperity, all the good things in life. Back on board. And thanks to Scenic's open bridge policy, getting to know Captain Ned and the bridge team is not only allowed, ah, oh, it's encouraged. Knowing, Captain, that you have gone through the icebergs of the Arctic and you've dodged mass penguins in Antarctica. Surely Japan is a walk in the park as far as cruising goes. Yeah, Japan is a lot smoother in that regard. The weather is a lot more predictable, the seas are flat, uh, the ports are well charted, well defined and wide open. So uh, yes, it is uh, somewhat more relaxing to be, uh, to be in Japan. I love Captain Ned and the entire crew. They are working tirelessly to exceed guest expectations on board as well as on shore. I have just felt, travelling through, that it's been lovely to soak up that element of nature everywhere we've gone, dive into the culture too. That's very much part of what Scenic's about, uh, to explore the nature and the culture, oh. sort of equally together, um, a sense of discovery. Yeah. 